What is up guys, what is up? It's been a minute since I got on here, but I, I wanted to come in here and talk about DaVinci for iPad. It's like a big thing right now and everybody's talking about it. So I just wanted to get on here real quick and talk about just a quick overview of how I feel using it. I mean, it's, 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 it's very close to using it on my Mac Studio, but I'm just thinking about if you look on the, the, the screen, which I'm looking at right now, it, you, can, you kind of just strap at the bottom with just the two. You have um, the color page and you have the, um, the edit page. And that's kind of like, you feel a little bit restricted with those settings where on the computer you have a full array of, um, you know, of, of settings, of things that you can do to, to you know, they all, everything is there for you basically to use. So I'm gonna show you how you can get the same settings um, on your desktop on the iPad. First of all, you'll need to have a keyboard connected to the iPad and a mouse. Mouse, not so much, but definitely a keyboard. At the moment, I've just got my, um, my Apple keyboard connected and my mouse connected from my Mac Studio. Um, and that's how I'm just doing it right now, just to show you guys this, this example, how you can go in and set certain shortcuts to get these settings up. So first of all, what you wanna do is press Command Option on your keyboard and K, and that will bring up the keyboard customization menu. And then you wanna scroll down to, um, you wanna go down to where it says Show Page. Now I've already gone in and create some shortcuts as to the things I wanted to bring up, but if you wanted to do, all you gotta do is click on that, where it turns red and then get the shortcut that you want to use to bring up this stuff. So I'm gonna close that down now. And if I do, if I just go on my, I have them right down here. If I wanted to add the cut page, I press shift. Um, they should start appearing now, um, you know, by pressing all this stuff. Um, if I wanted to bring, that's uh, fair, Fair light. If I wanted to bring up the edit page, then it's shift and um, the at sign. If I wanted to bring up, so I've got now edit, cut page, um, color, uh, fair light. And if I want to put up the delivery window, then that's shift and the percentage sign. And now if you just select along the bottom here, you have the cut page, like as you would, um, you've got your color page as you would. You got your, uh, you know, your Fairlight page where you go in and do all the sound. And then you got your export, your export page. Instead of just having um, export here, where you're just limited to these kind of settings, you can have a bit more customizable settings as we would um, on the, your Mac. So yeah, guys. Um, if I was to just bring a media in here real quick, just to show you that it's very, very similar to, uh, it's actually the same now. So like I said, you have your cut page here. Um, the only problem with this, I realized that you cannot cut in the this page here. Um, you have to cut here, which is, I think is really stupid. So you have to go here and use the scissors to cut, whereas, here on the Mac, you normally have a cut here. I'm not sure if there's a button missing. I'm, I'm gonna have to go in and have a look at that. But normally uh, there's like a razor here that you can use to cut. Not a problem, not, a, not, a, a, not a, a big thing, but for me, it works. And then I can do the color it here as you would, you know, you got all your settings here and stuff like that. You can go and, and you know, customize your, your sound here as you would on the Mac and you can go and, you know, do your export here and fine tune, you know, as you would, you know, stuff on the, if you wanted to change the, 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 the sound output or if you wanted to individual tracks. And so now we've got everything here. Now, this is a small um, screen, but I think it's pretty sweet if you're on the go and you wanna put some, some videos together quite quickly on a professional level and you don't have your laptop with you or your Mac. And I think this is a pretty sweet setup. So now that you can, um, you could, uh, you know, access this, it's, it's kind of like, um, you know, DaVinci for iPad is now winning. Um, I, noticed a few things once you shut it out and you close down the program when you reopen it again those shortcuts don't seem to stay 
Um, I'm not sure if, is it going to beat me down? No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy to kind of, you know, they're already programmed in there, so I'll just add them every time I need to use DaVinci. So yeah, guys, that's just a quick one I wanted to share with you guys, something I found out um, with DaVinci Resolve for iPad. Pretty sweet setup is pretty much identical to the um, desktop version, and I actually love messing about with it. It's um, as long as you got your keyboard and your mouse, it, it does make a big difference. So hope I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. And I hope that um, if some of you are frustrated with just the two bars, now you've got the full um, bars as you would on your Mac. So yeah, peace out. Lots of love for you guys. Um, if you're a new subscriber here, thank you so much for coming over. And if you are a, you know, uh, a recurring uh, subscriber, you know how I feel about you guys. Bless. Stay tuned. Peace out. Oh, I just finished this.